I think it's fair to say that maybe other than the X-Men, there hasn't been a more highly anticipated debut in the MCU than Daredevil. I mean, yeah, you can make an argument for the Fantastic Four as well, but whereas the previous three iterations of Fantastic Four have all ended up being, well, let's put it generously, disappointing uh, to most audiences, that's tempered, you know, the, the hype. Although there's still a lot of excitement about Fantastic Four coming, but with Daredevil being one of the greatest, I mean, I won't say it's the greatest, but it's one of the greatest superhero television shows ever over on Netflix. I mean, they just did a terrific job on a shoestring budget and made like one of the more memorable comic book superhero television shows ever over there. A lot of people have been very excited about him coming over. Well, going to have to wait a little bit longer because despite the fact that they said they're going to have, what was it, an 18-episode season? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Thank God. None of this six-episode, eight-episode nonsense. Like a full 18-episode season that, woo, Charlie Cox come back. Woo, Vincent D'Onofrio's come back. Yay. Not really sure it's going to be the exact same Daredevil that we had on, on Netflix, but it's going to be a lot like him. Still, it turns out we're going to have to wait. As a new report has come out, uh, we're reading this from the direct quoting the Hollywood Reporter said this, a new report from the Hollywood Reporter revealed that the upcoming MCU series Daredevil Born Again was just delayed, and here's the word we hate to see, indefinitely. <laughs> The show, which was announced with a spring 2024 premiere window, has now been taken off Marvel Studios' upcoming release calendar alongside of Ironheart and Wonder Man. If production picks up at the start of next year, uh, fans can expect Born Again to be delayed approximately to spring of 2025, and that's just a guess. However, that will all depend on when the studios will finally agree to new contracts with both the WGA and SAG-AFTRA to end the strike. Now, you guys might remember that we had to do some stories that even before... The actor strike started and Daredevil was already in production. They had to shut down production on Daredevil multiple times because the writer's strike, even though the scripts were already written, but the writers would pick it out front of where Daredevil was shooting and a lot of workers wouldn't cross the picket line. So they had to shut it down multiple times and then the actors went on strike so they can't possibly and now they've just kind of thrown up their hands in the air and said, well, we don't really know when we're going to be able to shoot this let alone release it. Now, that comes on the heels of a lot of other delays that have been announced. We've talked about a lot of them, but just a couple of days ago, a number of other shows got delayed. Here's where we're at right now. Take a look at this image here. So as of right now, we just recently found out that three Disney Plus Marvel shows have been delayed at least until 2024. Agatha Darkhold Diaries. Now remember, that used to be called Agatha Covenant of Chaos. They just recently changed the title of that. I actually prefer this title, Dark Hole Diaries. I like that a lot. But it was supposed to come out in 2023. They've now bumped it to 2024. The animated series, Ray, I know you were looking forward to this one. X-Men 97. Yes, sir. A lot of people were very stoked about that. It has been delayed to 2024. And the one nobody's looking forward to, <laughs> Echo. I'm so, Am I wrong? I know that was mean, but am I wrong? Is there anybody like dying to see Echo? I just didn't think they did a good job introducing this character on Hawkeye. Uh, I mean, if Marvel if Marvel feels they want to tell the story, I, my ears are so open, you know? Sure. I, mean, I just think they should have done a better job introducing the character in Hawkeye because right. this is a cool character and they did not do the character justice on Hawkeye at any rate. So those are all been delayed, but now we've got a number of films delayed indefinitely with no release date daredevil born again was just pulled right off the release schedule with no new release date alongside ironheart again i'm not feeling a lot of buzz for that one either and wonder man has been pulled now there was never really any big movement on it they just basically announced it and we haven't heard anything so three shows more shows delayed three others pulled off the schedule altogether and we don't know when they're going to get released probably sometime in 2025 if we're lucky now fortunately loki season two is still going to be releasing on schedule and apparently what if season two is still going to come out this year i'm not going to lie to you i'm not, I'm not terribly <laughs> interested in what if season two they they had two or three really good mini segments on the first season of what if i thought the others were just kind of eh, whatever but loki season two is still coming out so the delays keep on mounting now this becomes really problematic for something like the mcu which they often structure their tv shows and movies that the events of one have to lead in, into the events of a new one coming up and whenever something in marvel has to get moved around it can cause a pretty catastrophic domino effect well now this can't come out when it was supposed to because this thing needed to happen first and now this is going to have to move so it's going to get pretty messy look i don't know what kind of daredevil show we're going to get 
it's it's not the exact same Daredevils from the Netflix series. It's going to be very much like it, but it's not the same one. It's not going to be R-rated. Uh, people have already gotten the first taste of the new Matt Murdock in She-Hulk. I kind of like the Matt Murdock in, in She-Hulk. Some other people didn't. That's fine. Um, we've already found out the tone's going to be different. So maybe it'll be great. Maybe it won't be great. But I know a lot of people, including me, were looking forward to it. Now we're going to have to wait maybe an extra year for it. I don't know. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, DraftKings. Can you believe we've had seven months without an NFL game? Crazy, right? Well, good thing that's over. NFL is here and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is giving you a can't-miss offer for week one. This week, new customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you just bet five bucks on any NFL game. DraftKings is hooking everyone up with game day greatness. All customers can take advantage of two new new offers every single game day this September. Check the app to see what you get. So download now and use the code CAMPIA to sign up. New customers can take home $200 in bonus bets instantly just for betting five bucks. That's code CAMPIA only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-H-O-P-E-N-Y or text H-O-P-E-N-Y 467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort, Kansas, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. See dkng.co slash football for eligibility, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Questions for you guys. What do you think about the delays here? Do you think, ah, it's no big deal, whatever. Maybe you were like me and you were kind of counting down the days till we could see, you know, a show like Daredevil. Whatever you guys think, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thought. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.